come with me and you'll see a multi-directional elevator. Nailed it. Uh, so <laughs> we, d we have seen movie depictions of an elevator that cannot move beyond vertical uh, axis, but also horizontally. Mm -hmm. Not like this, but more like this in any direction. And this may become a reality as soon as 2016. Let's see how it would look. What if we were to provide more than two cabins in one shaft and let them circulate in a building? What if we were to invent a ground-breaking system enabling the cabin to move not only vertically but also horizontally? No more limits in height, shape, and mobility. There are multiple possibilities. So that was a cool video. A little hyped up, to say the <laughs> least. Uh, we were just talking about that. It looks like an earthquake nightmare when we yeah. saw the split up building. Uh, but European tech giant Thyssenkrupp, I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, I apologize, has invented the, well, conceptualized the multi, which uh, could be available as soon as 2016. So of course, uh, as you saw in the video, each cabin is equipped with a linear motor as opposed to an up-down cable uh, shaft mechanism. Um, and that would be able to present new architectural opportunities. I think it's interesting because, you know, that being said, most cities have an issue with vertical space, You're, mm -hmm. or, you know, with, with a horizontal space. Yeah. You can build vertical, but the idea of building up and out, you don't really have a lot of room for that. Like, I mean, this isn't going to be practicable, practical, ah, practical in places like Dubai. So I don't, I see this more in an application maybe in industrial uh, capacity Perhaps. versus yeah. residential because it it's just a little yeah I mean Los Angeles might be a good candidate for a test city for yeah. that because it is very spread out and we have a lot of space. I was thinking like go. Silicon Valley. Yeah, you know, yeah. In my head because so they have these, these huge campuses. And right. It's they have more room to spread out. Yeah, it's it's amazing to me how much elevator technology hasn't really changed in a very long time. Well, since the advent of safety. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not very done, done very much. No, and so I think that this is just the logical next step forward. Uh, and as we crowd the cities, like we're going to have to make more space for people, and this is just another way to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's really interesting. So when I was working in Mobile in the late part of like 2008, 2009, Mobile's, uh, Mobile, Alabama's uh, mayor was actually trying to entice ThyssenKrupp to come and build facilities there. And this was one of the things that was briefly talked about huh. back then was the idea of the multi-directional elevator. So mm -hmm. to me, it's, it's fascinating to see that this was an idea like a dream at the time that they really do want to see come about in two years. I, mm -hmm. Again, I just, I'm curious about the practical applications. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So audience, what do you think of the applications of the multi-directional elevator? How could it be used? Well, let us know your ideas below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.